Okay, a couple warnings. I'm starving, I'm thirsty, so I have food, I have some crackers and a drink. So I'm sorry for chewing noises. <laughs> And play Earthbound again. So the first time I did it was the first game I ever actually streamed up, I think, on uh, on Twitch. But I did not record it to put on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to do it now. And I'm probably going to be here a lot today because I've got nothing else to do. My nose itches. And my dog is staring at me going, can I have a cracker? I already gave you one. No. No more begging. So anyway, jump right on it. And delete the old game. Maybe. My controller wants to work. It was like stalling there. I had to rearrange my entire room for this game because I cannot play it on my 50-inch screen, because it is too smart to let it run through the Elgato with a Super Nintendo. And since I'm not a, uh... What are that things called? I just forget what I'm saying. Oh, I think I did mint last time. I'm gonna go with peanut. I don't think I've ever done peanut flavor. I usually just do banana because I like the color yellow. All right, let's see. Name me Carl. Good name, Kiva. And since I can't spell it the Irish way, we're gonna do it the phonetic. And get this thing out of my eye. We're gonna name you Kian. A lot of K's today. And yes, I am that paranoid person that when I play a game, I want like caps and no caps. I want it to look right. See, I know where I'm naming them from. I'm naming them from a book, but I don't know what to name. Through eons, our protagonist has been known by many names, but his true name is Power. But his true name of Power is Carl, with a K, not a C, motherfucker. What should I name this guy? Reference is wrong. Iris, up up. Go girl, up up. Go lay down. I'll move the hairbrush. <laughs> I say, do they have a K name in here? I know your name is Pooh, but I don't want. Hey, they do. Kato. How about Kator? <laughs> we can name him Kator. Let's make it fancy. Call him Kaitor. Oh yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> One second again. Everybody's like asking for my attention right now for some reason. Dance to the music. That very slow, awkward dance we can all do while sitting down. Okay. 
<laughs> attention, please. Can I have your attention? Your undivided attention. All day, every day. Name your pet. I would name it Iris, but it's a fucking coward, and Iris is not a coward. Iris will protect me. Unless I'm drowning, then she'll probably just leave me to die. Well, excuse me, you're already in here. I told a friend to come in, and he's like, I'm already there! I'm like, oh, okay, well, hi. We'll call him Rudy. Rudy's a coward. I think I named it Rudy last time because- No, I named him Finn last time. I'm gonna name him Rudy because Rudy likes to pee on my floor when he gets scared. And by scared, I mean... Anybody but me or his mom walks by him and he just pisses himself because he's like, Oh, it's you. <laughs> I like pizza. I'm gonna be honest, I make an amazing pizza. I'm gonna try not to burp too loudly while I'm drinking soda. I haven't had soda in a while, and I would uh, try not to, yeah. What should our favorite thing be? It'll be our attack name. What will we call it? Throw out suggestions. Sadly, it's not pizza. Well, this is cherry Pepsi. I don't really care for normal Pepsi unless I have to. But no pizza. Just crackers. So call it's attack to be Pepsi. <laughs> Do you hear dogs uh, growling? They're playing upstairs. Him and his sister. I draw anime boys too. I will send you one real quick so you can see. Just most people when they request art from me, they do not ask. I know I'm getting off topic of game here, so apologize. Uh, they don't ask for boys, because everybody likes girls and boobs. So... <laughs> yes, I draw, I draw men. But half the people who ask for men also want feminine-looking men, and so it's like, ugh. Must we? Every time. Every fucking time. <laughs> there you go, I sent you a couple random older drawings, but they're men. And that last one's not even he no, a lot of them weren't even human. <laughs> so never mind. Just we're gonna call it Attack Pepsi because I'm you know pizza and Pepsi. I think it's cute. Okay, let's go. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Carl, Kiva, Key, and Kaidor. Rudy. You know he's the odd man out when he's an R, and not a K. Favorite food is pizza. Coolest thing is Pepsi. It's not. But it makes a good, for, good attack when your favorite food is pizza. Wow. Okay, I swear my button is just like having a moment, so I need to not... Well, you also didn't have a reference image. And that was the problem. Like, if you had had the reference image, it would have been a lot easier for me to accept it, even though I was a bit busy. But you didn't. <laughs> reference images help. Like, 100% of the time. Because we cannot see what you're imagining in our head. And we, most artists who take, like, commissions or do freebies, they're so used to people nitpicking the small things when they try to do off, like, a written description, unless it's super simple, that they don't like to do it anymore. Well, then, <laughs> you can buy one on my Etsy shop. <laughs> we'll start with a chibi, and then we'll work our way up. To my normal style. And yes, I started an Etsy shop so I can make some money while I'm down with a bad knee. For once, my neck feels better. I've had a bunch of adjustments, and last time I went in, he did dry needling on my neck. That was the first for me. And 
it didn't really do much after like it started tensing up after a day or so like it usually does. And so I ended up- Carl, open the present. There's a cracked bat in size. Alright, um, but <laughs> I- two nights ago I was just like- I was forcing my neck to crack and it- it cracked big time. And since then my neck's actually been feeling pretty good so I'm like- I'm like super happy that it may be finally getting on the mend, but I'm also scared to do anything that I should be doing. Like some stuff I've had to do in here just to get this room set up, I probably shouldn't have done because I'm not supposed to lift anything even remotely heavy. And I had to like lift up my my tables and stuff to like swap them over because again I'm playing this on like a 2007 like you know 20 something inch TV uh, in front of me versus the one where I usually look up for that one. Excuse me. I have to edit those out when I do my YouTube. I listen to like a lot of uh, other people and they burp in their streams and I don't care. You know, it's like, but for a... Uh, I don't talk to my mom right now because she'll make me get dressed and I'll long get dressed. But uh, they burp and they act like it's such a, like, they're so good at it and I'm just like, no, you're not. One thing I've always like been known for unfortunately is being able to out burp most men. Because I've known how to do, you know, I'm one of the people who can, like, swallow air and do that. So a lot of people can do that, though, but, uh, mine get really loud, and I'm, uh, I try not to do that when I'm recording. Though I'm sure, like, one time, and when I used to have this old channel, I, uh, I had some decided to drink something before I, I recorded, and I ended up burping a few times through it, and it was like, I was trying to, like, not do it loudly, but someone... <laughs> Decided to mark every spot I did it so everybody who was looking for it could find it. I was like, oh, come on, guys. This is, what is this now? A fetish? There's a bread roll inside. Carl takes it. Nom, 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 nom. Bread rolls. Okay. Stuck on a sidewall. Here we go. <sighs> hey, Carl. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean officers' ways. 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 Way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Fuck you. Nice timing, Carl. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. You two are friends. Are you two friends? No? You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out. I don't wanna. He's an asshole, and I know what he does, and I don't like him. I jam a car while in the police officer infested woods. Okay, I need to stop looking down because if I look down I hear run into trees. I can't so we have the on my, my desktop over there, which has a decently large uh, screen, it's we have the chat enlarged, but despite two laser surgeries, I still can't read text very well. Um, so I have to have my laptop here with the Twitch screen open so I can actually read what people are saying. Welcome home, Carl. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Well, I know she didn't. She did ask it as a question, but since I get the option, it's a question. Sure. Mm. No, it's fine. Stay down, Ira. Stay down. She's looking at me like I'm losing my mind doing this. And she's like, she gets up like, do you need me? Do I need to go get someone? You do not, but you're fine. You're so pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of you because you look so classy right now. That's a picture of me. Turn around, phone. post that up later, maybe if I remember on the stream when I do the YouTube recording. <laughs> Mom, quit following me. Hey, little listen to what I've got to say. When I took Piggy to the place where the meteorite landed- Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing suddenly left to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks are the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend, bestest. Won't you, won't, won't you help me find Picky? I don't get a choice, motherfucker. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I can't tell if he's a good buddy. Is he calling me that or is he saying I'm just a good buddy? Like, is it a pet name or am I a good buddy? It's weird. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Sure. I know, I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Rudy along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could be a help at this time. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your, out of your jammies before you leave. And I don't want to. I want to do the whole adventure in my pajam jams. Right, Iris? Good pajam jams. Oh, you're gonna give me cookies. Give me cookies. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. No, I don't want to give you anything. My stuff. Mine. Mine. I'll take you. Sure, why the not? Okay. You do have a choice. You do. I'm not putting you on a lead. Alright, you go in front and I'll fall at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. Ring. 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 No, no, stay there. Stay there. I don't know. I'm good. Thank you. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like this? Actually, no, I have not. Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I make a record. Of, I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited thirty dollars into your bank account. You have an ATM card. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Me. I'm not really one for overdramatic laughing when I'm not in the mood. So. Or when I'm shy. Hello, puppy dog. You look like- it looks like a bunny, I'm gonna be honest. Like, the, the little- the little, little sprite looks like a bunny, kinda. Not that, that looks like a dog. Ish thing. I always like when I don't miss on my first hit. Cause it happens too often. But I missed on my second, so fuck it. Oh, good job, Rudy. What? How convenient. My dad put money in my, my account? I got life up already! That was easy. Anyone else think it'd be weird? I mean, besides, you know, a meteorite landing next door to you and no one getting hurt and then... things going missing and, you know, rabid animals attacking you suddenly, but... Don't you think it'd be weird that suddenly you're like, I suddenly know how to heal myself, and I don't know where I learned that, I just- I beat a dog to death. Okay, no, I didn't beat it to death, I tamed it. There is no death of the living creatures, just the aliens. He bit me. Okay, don't make me miss a bunch, I don't wanna- there are those games where I either miss all the time and I have to restart, or I get homesick every five minutes and I have to restart. I hate those ones. They're rare, but they happen. So, when I was a kid, I thought he was a cyclops. Because let's face it, he looks weird. Looks like he has like an eye and then like a... Like an eyebrow and I just... Yeah. I also caught him pukey when I was a child. Pukey the Cyclops. Yes, he's so useful, him and his pretending to be dead. Ouch, my eyes. You're not innocent there, Pokey. Oh yeah, he just As usual. Yay, cookies! <laughs> I 
I'm gonna try not to just sit here like poking buttons because I know it can get annoying if it can, if it can be hurt. It's like stop pushing every button while you're waiting for something to happen that you cannot control through pushing the buttons. It's like whoops, sorry. Trying to say it, sell in a, a gaming laptop that I have. I'm getting some offers, so I need to. But I can't meet anyone till Sunday, because I'm not going to go alone, too. If you knew I was going to such a scary place, I wouldn't come along about here. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, oh! You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried, worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Yeah. Okay, that... I don't, I don't believe that's an offer. So I'm trying to get... Carl, do you hear a buzzing sound that sounds like a bee flying around? Sure. But it's, uh... I'm asking for a thousand or or best offer just because it's a really good laptop and I spent way more than that on it. So, uh, but someone's like, does this sound like a good offer? 970. I'm like, I don't take that one seriously. Like, that sounds like a, a joking offer. And I'm not one to reply to anything I think is suspicious. I do not hear a bee. It's not a bee. Oh, come on, you must hear it. It's not a bee. He says so. Sorry again, little pause. A B I M, not. Not a B. <laughs> I'm from ten years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gigas, that's what I call him. Deal with it. The Universal Cosmic Destroyer sent all all to horror of the sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. You know, you're not actually supposed to start a sentence with however, you're supposed to, like, try to put it more into it by a few words. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my, it is in my opinion that you are that boy, Carl. This I believe. Just cuts. Gigas' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. <clears throat> Not coughing. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient time tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gigas. I really wish they didn't just, like, pause it and then drop it, because it makes it really hard to read in, like, sequence if it does that. I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do. Did you listen to what I told you? No. Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Da -da 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 -da. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Not a bee! Carl, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not really in this kind of thing at all. Because he had a choice. Or he's been there before. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Well, you're a wimp, that's why. So I get a cracker. I'm pulling my heart out of my mouth. 
Really? Have a cup. Certain certain food my dogs my dogs my dog really loves. And will bug me for. Ritz crackers. And Sour Patch Kids. I don't know why she likes Sour Patch Kids, and no, I don't just give her a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. I just know my dog. She had one once, and now she stares at me like, well, just... It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful in foiling Master Gigas' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. be a sexual reference if you really pushed it or you had a foot fetish. Alright, let's kill him. Honestly, I should just put this on auto because I really have no control over this. Good job there! I, I'm sorry, I just- I completely ignored what- what I just said- what I just said, too. Uh, we're going to push what? Oh, you meant- oh, you meant the stomping! Rose Levels Level 3. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna push it, but anybody with a foot fetish could probably push that. I would know, because I have a lot of friends who do have a foot fetish. <sighs> I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. No shit, I was just fighting dogs and crows and snakes. Due to Gigas' influence over their, their the evil in their minds. That creates a whole, whole different, like, thing you could discuss here. Do animals have evil in their minds? It is the truth, so listen. There's a lot of truth I don't want to listen to. Okay, either dye your mustache or don't dye your hair. Need sunglasses and bow ties. I'm pointing at my laptop like you can see. Yeah. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Yeah, beat their asses. Well, not Picky. He's a good boy. Pokey's the asshole. So are you. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I don't think anybody wants me to try and scream that, because I think it would hurt everybody's ears anyway. I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out. That could also be a fetish. <laughs> Sadly, it actually probably is, but I'm not gonna... But we're not gonna... We're not gonna dig into that one. I'm gonna let that one go. Lady Moo... You... She, they kind of, like, gave her boobs. You notice that? Like, they kind of put, like... 
lines. I know that they're kind of on the back too, but they, they look more like boobs on the front. See? Ugh. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. <laughs> oh, I just remembered. As I'm dying, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. Music. To defeat Gigas's. Sorry. To de <laughs> Let me just screw that up. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onit. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You're a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is a sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Almost dead. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good! Because I'm dying. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. It's like they tried to make the death both dramatic and sad, but not so much so that it would hurt children. Like, oh, he's dying. This is kind of funny, though. <laughs>